What's good gang? In today's video, I am bringing you a tutorial on how to make three different types of bridges in Minecraft, ranging from super, super easy to medium and then kind of hard, but they're all going to be super, super simple to make for beginners, novices, noobs, because I am a noob at Minecraft, like really huge noob. So I kind of just found what works for me and this is for y'all who want to make your world look a little bit better. So if you like our videos and our content, make sure you hit the subscribe button, like this video, and please leave a comment down below. Let me know what you think about my bridge styles and let me know if it works for you. Also follow us on our socials. Instagram is S-I-M-B-L-I-N-G-S-S -S underscore and Twitter is the exact same just with no underscore. Now let's get in to this freaking tutorial. You could totally make these bridges in survival if you don't want to go into creative mode. The supplies that I use are relatively easy to find. It's mostly oak wood, cobblestone, stone, whatever works for you really. Like these bridges would work with any kind of material. This first bridge that I'm showing you would be kind of like a easy to medium uh, type of build. So what I'm doing is I'm just laying down how wide I'm gonna want my bridge to be make like <laughs> this freaking squid is like killing itself over in, in the corner um but i basically just make it as wide as i want and then start working towards building it across the the large body of water to the other side so it should look something like this and now what i'm doing is i'm finding the center of my bridge and building one block up or one plank up so that I can make that kind of effect where the bridge is a little arched because I think that's what makes this bridge look harder than it actually is to make. So it should look a little bit something like that. You can make it as long as you want, as big as you want. You can make the archway like really arched if that's what the look you're going for. But I'm just going for like a smaller bridge. So I filled in all the gaps with more um, dark oak planks and now I'm starting on the stone brick wall. So it's kind of hard to explain how to do the wall. I hope I'm showing it kind of okay, but so it, it follows the pattern of the archway that we made with the bridge itself. I hope that makes sense. It's kind of hard to figure this out because I was also getting really confused when I was building it. Notice how many times I had to go in and out. But these bridges, they only take like maybe 20 minutes to make. It took me like at least 25 minutes to make just because I was figuring things out, but it's a really simple and easy bridge. As you can see, it looks awesome. Like it looks great, especially for someone who is still trying to figure out how to make stuff in Minecraft. But yeah, so now we are moving on and flying around looking for another place to put our bridge. So you can see I keep dipping down because I think that it's that should be the spot but then I found this ice kingdom and this is the bridge that I'm making from the dirt to the ice. So I'm starting off the exact same way I did before, just making it as wide as I want it and I'm just working my way to the other side. It's a very long way, there's gonna be a, this one is the hard bridge by the way. As you can see, it takes up a lot of stone brick, but it's going to look so good. And what I'm doing right now is I'm just lining up where I want the larger poles to be. And then I also decided to take out the middle pole because I didn't really like it. And you can adjust it however you'd like. Uh, you can put them anywhere you want, really. That's why I'm not really specifying how many blocks in, how many blocks out, because really just do what you want. You can see I adjust it a lot to whatever looks good. The key is to just look at your work afterwards. So this is what it should relatively look like. 
And now I'm just going to take these um, dark oak fence and put them every other block. So you can see right here how I'm doing this. So I'm just doing that to all sides of the bridges, every end of the bridge. And after that, we're going to build the poles up in a like, so <laughs> in a descending order. Is, is that is that correct? I don't know, but I'm doing one less every time I go down the poles. So you can see it when I um, when I zoom out. So the center should always be the shortest pole and then you work your way back up. So then it makes a kind of swoop. And now I'm working on some just like things to make the bridge look like a real bridge, a nice bridge. So I'm using dark oak planks, just putting them on top of each pole. And then I'm using stairs and just filling in those gaps. As you can see, it, it, it creates a really nice effect, like from far away and there's a little creeper swimming, <laughs> but it creates a really nice effect. It makes the bridge look more complete. It makes the build look more polished. I guess you could say and it'll, it looks awesome especially when you're running around the place and you just see this giant bridge so I'm adding some chiseled cobblestone or chiseled stone brick at the top just for some um, decoration I think it looks really cute looks really cool um, a little decoration never hurt nobody right so there I am just adding a little bit of stuff. As you can see, I kind of did the other side with the oak planks and the stairs, but I don't really like the way it looks. <laughs> oh yeah, I saw a creeper and then he disappeared when I ran over there to kill him. Um, yeah, I'm just making the, just making this a little higher. You can adjust as you like. I just think it looks better if it's a little higher and a little deeper in the center. So it's really hard to explain this part, so hopefully the way that I'm showing it in the video is um, helpful. <laughs> so the, there, there she is. <laughs> I don't know what else to say about it. Um, I do the exact same thing to the other side and oh yes. Um, so if you want to make your bridge look super polished then you just have to extend that cobblestone all the way through the water. It just makes it look so good. I also went in and put torches in, uh, made a strip that was oak, uh, dark oak wood because I feel like that really ties the whole bridge together. But yeah, so this is the bridge when you're running through it. It looks so cool. I'm so obsessed with this bridge. And it didn't even take me that long in creative mode. It probably took me about half an hour. I would say in survival, it'll take about an hour-ish. But if you're already playing Minecraft for that long and you like building, I feel like it's pretty worth it. But yeah, so now I am on to the very last bridge and it's gonna be the easiest bridge ever. You couldn't make this bridge in 10 minutes, 15 minutes, and it looks super cute. So I'm just trying to find a smaller body of water because it's more of a smaller bridge style. And I thought this one was pretty cute because um, it's pretty shallow water. Uh, there's lots of grass around, there's a little village over there, so I feel like it would match. So for this bridge, I am using only oak plank, or I'm only using oak which I feel like is a pretty common wood type. So I feel like it's gonna be really easy to make this one. And I'm also obsessed with this bridge. I have made probably three of these bridges already in my own world. So doing the exact same thing, um, starting off with how wide it is and just building all the way across. I made it three blocks wide because I'm gonna be putting fences. So at least I needed at least one block wide that I can run across uh, so I'm just taking out some of the dirt so then I can put these these beams down which are just oak fence I'm putting them through the water because it makes it kind of it gives it that harbor kind of 
look which that I'm going for because it's all made out of wood I just think doing that gives gives the bridge a little bit of a personality gives it some some flair makes it look really cute you know what I mean like I don't know how else to explain it but really cute I really like it and I put these oak planks because um, I think it just gives it a little bit more character and now I'm starting on the fencing so this fencing is super simple you're just gonna go all the way across with the fence the way a normal fence would be like and then you just go uh, three up or two up I mean two up and then connect the bridges so as you can see right now I'm putting them at every other one scrap that I scrap it later on I take out all of the center poles because I realize that my bridge is not the right amount of fences I'm left with an odd one out so don't mind me right now I'm just trying to fix it but I take out all the center ones take out all the center ones out anyways so it doesn't really matter but yeah I'm just putting the fences up it's gonna look real cute and then you just connect the tops so it looks kind of like that it's just, it gives it like a really cool like Asian feel if you know what I mean I don't know why but it reminds me of like a lantern <laughs> I don't really know what that means but I think it's super cute and yeah so I'll, that's basically it and I'm probably gonna add a little bit uh, I think yeah so I'm just gonna add a bit of torches just to light it up because I am going to be playing in survival at some point and I need this bridge to be lit so this is the finished bridge, the easiest bridge to ever make, and it's so cute. Like, this would take me 10 minutes to make, a literal 10 minutes. Like, who doesn't have 10 minutes to spare in Minecraft to make a bridge across the water? You know what I mean? So that concludes the video and the tutorial. I hope I made sense, I hope my instructions were clear, and I really hope that the visuals make sense. I really hope you guys find this helpful. I think they're really cool. I think they're really easy to make, especially for a beginner. Thank you so much for watching guys, and if you like this video, don't forget to hit the subscribe button, like this video, leave a comment down below, and we will see you in the next video. Goodbye.